Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's Tykira. So, I recently had a dream. And in the dream, I was telling people about God and telling them, like, not to lie and not to talk about others and not to judge others and not to commit and not to commit fornication and stuff like that. And um, after I got done telling the people about God, um, I noticed Jesus coming in. I noticed Jesus like basically like coming in on a cloud and the cloud opened and I saw him. Now, I can't really like say I saw his face because I really I, I just saw basically like you know just a body like I knew it was him and I, I just saw him standing and um when I first seen him he was coming in on the cloud he was on a cloud and the next thing you know he was standing in the middle of my aunt's yard but kind of like far away from the house. So I noticed it was multiple people on my aunt's um back um porch. And when they saw Jesus, they started running towards him. And at the time, I didn't know he was standing in the middle of your yard. So I'm like, what they running to? And then I think somebody was like, it's Jesus. And then I look up. He was like in the middle of the yard. So I started running. And then I kind of got past up everybody that was running. So I got to Jesus first and I kneeled down on my knees and I just like bowed my head or whatever. And then I look back and I see other people also running towards Jesus. And then I looked up and Jesus spoke to me and he was like, Tykira, you have to be patient. And I understood what he was saying. He was telling me, that yes, take care. I know you want me to come. I know you want to go to heaven. I know you want to be with me. But at the same time, it's other people still running the what running the race, trying to get away from Satan, trying to you know run for their life. Basically, it's still people trying to get to me. They still running the race, the spiritual race, and. You have to be patient and wait for them also as he is being patient and not coming now so he can win more souls. So he was just telling me, like, be patient while he win more souls. Like, yes, I might be a soul that he already has, but it's still people that is coming to him. And if he came now, the people that's coming to him that's not already there, they will be left behind. And that's not what he want. He want as many as souls as he can possibly get and have. So he's just told me like, take care, you got to be patient. Don't rush my coming. Be patient for, you know, I am coming and you know, I will come. And that's all that matters. Just know that when I do come, just be prepared. Don't worry about when I come. Just know when I do come, you just need to be prepared. Just worry about yourself and always being ready. For you don't, for you do not know when I will come, and that's basically what he was telling me. So, I just want to tell everyone that Jesus loves you. He wants you to be in heaven with him. He wants you to hate the sinful things that he hate. It's not really hating the person that is sinning. It's hating the act that the person does. Jesus loves everyone, and Jesus is love, and Jesus wants you to love everyone more than you even love yourself. Because if you think about it, the things we do, sometimes we don't even love ourselves. But Jesus loved us unconditionally. And he was willing to put everything aside that he had, including being in heaven, not wanting for nothing, to being a man on earth, su suppressing all his powers, not being able to use all the powers that he had when he was sitting on the throne of heaven, he let go all that just to die on the cross, suffer pain, be called a liar, be called a blasphemer, and be told that he wasn't the Messiah when he was, just to sh show us his love. 
and how much he cared for us so we won't perish and won't burn in the lake of fire. He done that for us. So we should love each one each each one another and tell each other about the goodness of Christ and share the love that he has for us. And let that love reside in us so we may share the same love and strive to be like Jesus Christ each and every day. So that's what we should do. So I love y'all and I pray that y'all pray for others and that y'all pray for y'all strength in the Lord. And I pray that everyone that's watching this endure to the very end so that they may also be able to enter the kingdom of heaven and enter into the pearly gates of heaven with the Lord their God. Jesus. Amen.